Hello, I'm speaking to you once again from my office in the Rayburn House office building uh, across the street from the uh, Capitol. I'm coming to you uh, at this time to express uh, my concern about uh, uh, the release of uh, illegal immigrant criminals into this country uh, to, that is going on at a very alarming rate. And I just read this morning in one of the Capitol Hill newspapers a headline that said 1,400 released immigrants convicted of new crimes, new federal data shows. And it says more than 1,400 immigrants on the path to deportation. In other words, people who were supposedly uh, ready to be deported are on that path anyway, who have been released by the federal government have gone on to be convicted of new crimes ranging from sexual assault to burglary according to federal data. Additionally, more than 347,000 convicted criminal immigrants in the country illegally have been released onto the streets. Let me read that sentence one more time. More than 347,000 convicted criminal immigrants in the country illegally have been released onto the streets. About half of those are currently in removal proceedings and the rest have received orders to be removed from the country but are still free. The new data released by the House Judiciary Committee, which received it from U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, is sure to rile conservative critics of the Obama administration's immigration policies. This news comes on the heels of a woman's killing at a popular San Francisco waterfront that authorities say was committed by an undocumented immigrant who had been convicted of a felony and deported from the country five times. And uh, I certainly uh, am concerned about this also. If there's anything that we should be able to agree on, it's that illegal immigrant criminals should be uh, deported and removed from this country in a much quicker way and, and shouldn't have to go through all the uh, rigmarole and uh, legal proceedings that take uh, months or a long period of time so they can go out and commit other crimes. That, that, is, that is shocking to me that more than 347,000 convicted criminal immigrants in the country illegally have been released onto the streets. And that is, to me, that is not only shocking, it is ridiculous. It is a horrible uh, indictment of uh, our immigration policies and, and we certainly need to uh, uh, toughen those up. Uh, between uh, my father and I, our offices have helped, I'd say, a few thousand people uh, immigrate here legally. And uh, I, hardly anybody is opposed to, in this country to legal immigration. We are the most open country in the world. But uh, w when you have 58% uh, of the people in this world having to get by on $4 or less a day, that's, uh, that's about 4 billion people. That means probably hundreds of millions, maybe even a couple billion of those people would like to come here almost immediately if they could. Uh, there's no other country in this world that has nearly as many people wanting to get in as we do. So we're forced to have some sort of legally, legal orderly system of immigration and it needs to be enforced. Uh, I've heard it said before that if you don't have borders, you don't have a country. And in addition to that, uh, we have far too many people in our country who are unemployed or who are underemployed, and we certainly don't need to uh, allow hundreds of millions of people in here from other countries, and especially we shouldn't be allowing criminals in here, and we, once they are found, we shouldn't go through a lot of uh, uh, delays and a lot of uh, legal mumble jumbo. Uh, we should get them out uh, quickly, and I hope that, uh, I, and I feel certain that almost everybody uh, would agree on something like that. Thank you.